Hello, my name is Ron Taylor. I am a product manager for Chesterton's Engineered Polymer Solutions. Today I would like to talk about sealing at low temperature. This can be challenging because the movement of molecules in materials slow as temperature reduces. Cold temperature actually changes material physical properties. For example, at zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, water undergoes a phase transition from a liquid to a solid. Once you get even colder, starting at negative 150 degrees Celsius or negative 238 degrees Fahrenheit, the realm of cryogenics is entered. At negative 273 degrees Celsius or negative 459 degrees Fahrenheit, the movement of molecules ceases altogether. This is known as absolute zero. You might ask yourself why sealing at such low temperature is needed. Well, low temperature is useful for the phase transition of gases to liquids. Converting a gas to a liquid saves an exceptional amount of storage space. Liquefaction also reduces transportation expenses and decreases potential hazards that might arise with fluid in a gaseous state. Cryogenic liquids have a number of useful applications. Nitrogen is sprayed on harvested produce to cool and delay the ripening process. Cryogenic fuels such as oxygen are used in spacecraft rocket applications. Embryos for in vitro fertilization, also known as IVF, are stored in liquid nitrogen. But one of the largest industries is liquefied natural gas, or LNG for short. LNG is used in fleet vehicles as a cleaner burning alternative to gasoline and diesel. LNG can be regasified for use in traditional ways such as heating buildings and powering household appliances such as cooktops, water heaters, and clothes dryers. It is also becoming a dominant fuel source in the industrial sector for processing things like chemicals, metal, and paper. It is increasingly leveraged in the generation of electricity as a cleaner and less hazardous alternative to coal and nuclear. Equipment used in the liquefaction, transportation, and storage of cryogenic liquids include pumps, vessels, and valves. These devices are specially designed for cold temperature. Sealing is extremely important since hazards involved with failure can be life-threatening and may include fire, explosion, frostbite, or asphyxiation. Traditional compression seals are incapable of cryogenic temperature. Rubber materials harden, lose their flexibility, and resist deformation. All of these factors lead to seal failure. So other seal types must be used to survive application with cryogenic liquids. One such seal type that can hold up under low temperature conditions is a spring energized seal. It consists of a machined polymer jacket loaded with a spring element. The jacket is typically made from a material called polytetrafluoroethylene, also known as PTFE. This material retains toughness, strength, and lubricity down to negative 268 degrees Celsius or negative 450 degrees Fahrenheit. The spring acts to energize the seal lips, keeping them in contact with the gland. This provides sealing at no to low pressure, with increasing pressure further actuating the seal. When designing a spring energized seal for low temperature, Chesterton engineers consider several design factors. One, where possible, a virgin or lightly filled grade of PTFE is used to maximize jacket pliability. Two, Seal lips may be made thinner or longer so they remain relatively flexible. 3. Although PTFE has one of the lowest coefficients of friction known to man, this property increases as temperature reduces. For this reason, seal lips are carefully polished to enhance their finish. 4. Since the jacket stiffens and contracts as temperature drops, high spring loads must be used to overcome rigidity. Helical wound or continuous spring types typically fill the bill. Five, finally, and to not be overlooked, hardware should be designed to optimize sealability. Fine finishes are recommended for static surfaces and very fine finishes for dynamic surfaces, since gas-tight sealing is essential when transitioning to a liquid. In summary, sealing cryogenic liquids can be challenging, but Chesterton has the know-how and experience. 
Thanks for your time, and please contact your local Chesterton office or Chesterton's Ask the Expert service if you have any questions. Thank you.